Hello, I am Peter. I am a C6, C7 quadriplegic, and this is a video on hand stretches uh, to begin in a home hand therapy slash hand exercise program. Um, I want to preface with uh, when I was first injured about seven months ago, I had absolutely no hand function, much less tricep function. Um, as you can see, I have full tricep extension now, and uh, my hands are in full extension. They even wiggle a bit. And uh, we're getting to work on flexion, and then we have a little bit of separation starting. It's a little difficult, but it's there. Um, I'm going to start by uh, teaching you all the ways that your hand and your fingers are supposed to move, because there's a ton of them. Um, and uh, so let me begin. Um, we're going to start with the fingers, of course. Uh, and a lot of quadriplegics, when their hands are paralyzed, their fingers will either be stuck open or stuck clenched. My hands are not stuck clenched, but I've seen other people whose hands are stuck clenched, and I have to say, you are lucky because you can hold things, but at the same time, I know that you want to, you know, be able to touch things with your different fingers, to type, to handshake, um, and so it's important for everyone with hand paralysis to do hand therapy. Um, so, starting with the fingers, they can go either into extension, flexion, or separation. And that's when your fingers um, basically go out and go in. Like making the, the Vulcan hand symbol um, is, a, is a great example. Uh, it's actually called abduction and adduction. Abduction, meaning your fingers go away. Adduction, your fingers come together. Um, and the same goes for your thumb. Your thumb can either extend, flex, adduct, or abduct. And we want to be able to strengthen all of those so that you can get a full fist, a full hand open, a full hand working. Um, and so the first thing that you want to do in any hand therapy, hand exercise program is stretches. Um, especially if your hands are clenched because they are going to need them. Um, but I'm going to start with if your hands are open. If your hands are stuck open like mine and they can be stuck you know, all the way in extension, they can be stuck kind of like just loose. Um, that's how most people's are. You want to make sure that you are stretching all three joints in your fingers. You have three joints. You're going to have your, let's see, I'm going to try and get a good angle. <laughs> you got your MCPs down here, and they allow you to do that. You got your uh, PIPs, proximal uh, interphalanges, and they're right here, and they allow you to basically go in like that. Not sure if you can see much of the table. There you go. And then you got your uh, DIPs, the distal interphalanges, and those basically do that. Um, my distal interphalanges don't really work very well yet, but my PIPs and my uh, MCPs are waking up. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is, of course, stretch the MCPs, especially if they're not working. If you don't have MCP return, then your fingers are, are not going to be able to do much, because that's how you're going to get a fist. Um, so you're going to want to basically hold these down, use as much force as you can, uh, especially with the MCP on this hand. That's how you can get the, mo the most force. Um, one thing that I like to do is sleep like this. Basically, I will put my hand under a pillow, um, or you know, you can ball it up in a sock if you have socks or pantyhose that are small enough. Uh, I don't have pantyhose, as you can see. Um, so I, I use a uh, pillow. I basically put it, my hand under a pillow and sleep with a hand clenched like that. Um, but the important thing to do is, if it hurts too much and you can't sleep, make sure that you're sleeping before, you, before you're stretching. You need sleep in order to heal. So, if you're going to do the stretch and it still hurts, then just do this, okay? Hold it for 30 seconds at a time, take a break, hold it for 30 seconds again, do it, please, 10 times. Watch TV, watch this video. Uh, do whatever. Watch, you know, other hand videos or 
just watch something while you're doing anything sedentary. Um, make sure that you are clenching this hand. Uh, 30 seconds on and off. You can do it a minute too, but I don't advise it because you don't want to overstretch it, such overwork it. And also, this hand's going to need a break at some point too. Um, once you stretch that, uh, and it doesn't hurt so much anymore, start stretching these. The PIP. No, the DIPs. Sorry. DIPs are closer, PIPs are farther. Start stretching the DIPs and try sleeping like and try sleeping like that with these down against the pillow um, and this part kind of under. That way you're stretching this. Now my DIPs are still a little tight and that's why I don't have very good movement in them. Um, so I don't sleep with them closed yet. But still while I'm, you know, watching a movie or, you know, out to dinner or whatever, um, I will often, or even when I'm resting between therapies, because I still go to therapy a ton, um, basically use what finger or whatever you have to stretch these, you know, 30 seconds stretch, and then off 10 times a day, and you can do that several times a day if you want, but 30 seconds on and off 10 times. That's what I do, and that is what is going to help get rid of that stiffness. Um, if you are not feeling stiffness anymore, no more resistance when you're stretching, then it's time to start doing exercises, which I will do in another video. Um, those are how to get your fingers, if they're stuck open, to start flexing. Um, if your fingers are stuck closed and you want extension, you're going to want to try and pry this part of your hand underneath your fingers and lip and push them up. Again, you're going to want to start with the MCPs. Just try and push the MCPs up. That'll hurt. And I'm going to use the same rule for each one. 30 seconds on and off. Good, I'm making a hand video. Um, and then after that, um, do, uh, you're sorry about the distraction. Um, after that doesn't hurt anymore, you're going to want to do, um, your PIPs. Yes, your PIPs. I'm sorry, I'm still getting this terminology down. Um, PIPs for, uh, 10, 30 seconds, 10 bouts, PIPs. Um, and then of course, the same rule applies for as reflection, um, with extension, you can sleep on your hands, sleep with them under a pillow, try and sleep with them straight, if, you know, they're stuck like that, you know, try, try and use, you know, heavier pillows, if you have heavier pillows, piles of pillows, whatever works. Um, that, that's all the hand stretches I really have for the fingers. Um, for the thumb, it's, does, it's not really going to need stretching unless, of course, it's stuck totally closed in. And with that, you're just going to want to do the same rule with the three joints, you know, 30 seconds on um, each joint. Uh, if it's stuck open um, and there is tightness, you are going to want to basically try and stretch it in, stretch it in, and, and it's hard to see, stretch that in. Um, and that is the first step in our journey to uh, full hand function. So, my name is Peter. Um, if you have any questions, put a comment in the video, and I'll try and answer it to the best of my ability. Um, let's keep on working.